Hey, thanks for checking in to Weatherbug here on this Tuesday as we talk more about your national coast-to-coast forecast. The active weather continues, very wet in the west coast, and that severe threat continues to bubble up. Take a look at highs yesterday in the southwest, 98 in Phoenix. Some of the warmth, of course, drifting out into the plains. We've had some milder weather here as of late across the eastern two-thirds of the nation, so that has been a very welcome sight. But Chicago today, 15 degrees colder than we should be at this time of the year due to the fact that we've had a front push through two degrees colder than average in Minneapolis. And then Chicago still on your day Wednesday, about 15 degrees colder than average. So that's what we're watching. Take a look at the temperature trend. We'll actually take you out through next week. So there's a little bit of a warm up out ahead of a storm system developing for Wednesday to Thursday. We actually see a little bit of warming down to the south, but notice this little area of low pressure by weekend, the weekend and into early next week. Notice how much blue we see by next week. And the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook from NOAA's Climate Prediction Center says once again that the Midwest and the eastern two-thirds by late next week or next week will be cooler than average. So we're tracking one front across the eastern two-thirds of the nation now. The midsection sunny and a little bit cooler, but here is that very wet west coast and our severe threat on Tuesday. Looks pretty minimal, just some general thunderstorms, but as one of those pieces of energy from the west begins to slide out into the plains tomorrow, a slight risk of severe weather from Omaha down into west Texas and then by Thursday, just some general thunderstorms in the midsection of the nation. But that is going to bring us some pretty decent moisture. And again, watching this area of rain across the eastern seaboard today. Here comes your shower and thunderstorm potential tomorrow in the midsection of the nation. Maybe some snowfall even across the far northern uh, reaches of the United States there. But uh, we are going to see those pretty unsettled weather conditions in the west and northwest for the next few days.